So, John, tell you, give us your name and uh, where you work. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm John Calvin. I'm with Keysight Technologies. I'm a planner for High Speed Serial Data Initiatives. And uh, you know, today we're showing uh, some of the you know the top silicon that's performing for the 1.6 terabit per second sort of link speeds. Uh, we were good enough to partner with Marvell for this demo, and we're showing this silicon in partnered with a uh, 100 gigahertz real time scope in this demo right here. Now you mentioned SNDR. What yeah. is that for the the layman in the audience? So you know SNDR is one of the really important metrics here for signaling quality, a signal to noise distortion ratio. It's really it's the pulse of 1.6 terabits, it's the single most important measurement, and SNDR is. It encapsulates jitter, it encapsulates noise, it encapsulates channel loss. Everything is incorporated in the SNDR measurement. So we use that as one of the single values and metrics that gives you the highest level indication of a successful CERTES or a problematic CERTES. So it was better SNDR, better quality? Better SNDR, the better, yeah. So, you know, th there are spec limits in place right now. Uh, 32 dB is currently the published number for SNDR, but that's all based on simulation and modeling. Really, this is a first working demo of silicon that's giving us numbers that are really, really close to the spec limit. So, as you can see in this demo right here, we're running at an SNDR of 31.7 here. Oh, change. So, it's running a free run now. You might see the number go up or down a little bit, but you're, you're three tenths of a dB to the spec number right now. So, not to say the spec is carved in stone. Uh, we might actually change the spec number, or we can do things well to get you beyond 32 dB. But this is a really impressive number. I mean, this is a, almost an instrument grade kind of SNDR coming out of your CERTES right now. Now, you're actually, Keysight's a testing company, and you have yeah. like that, not a cable company. But what would this mean for, let's say, someone running a cloud data center or a cable manufacturer? Well, you know, in, in, in the data centers, it's all about, you know, low latency, efficient signaling from in the AI clusters. You know? So you have AI cl clusters, you need to communicate to adjacent clusters. The east-west traffic is really important these days in AI centers. Being able to do so efficiently with, you know, less than five picojoules per bit. This kind of one of the objectives for 224 gigabits per second. And these are things that are served by, you know, this, this generation of silicon that's coming online right now. Excellent. Hey, well, thank you very much. All right, Michael, my pleasure. Anytime, come by and see the demo. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Thank Goodbye you. Now.